Hello friends and happy May! If you don't know me, I am Lou, a multi-crafter and this is Awesomely Stitch. So I work with crochet, knitting, cross stitch, bead wave, all the things that have a stitch in it and I like to talk about it. So let's go! Last week I did my plans for May but I also wanted to show you the things that I made in April. This is gonna be a short video because I didn't make many things, but I hope that changes in the future. So let's start. First of all, I wanted to show you like from the oldest ones to the newest ones. The oldest one that I made is this lovely thing. This one, I love it. I use this pattern. Um, it's on Etsy. I really like it. I was not so in love of the orange in the back, so I changed it up for a gray one, and I think it looks great. Like I have this in my home office, and when I'm working, it's like, yeah, dude, I'm killing it. And if you like this type of humor, can we be friends? <laughs> um, yeah. So this is the one. This is also fully finished. Like I'm learning how to finish the cross stitches in the back. In this one I tried, of course, but I wasn't that successful. I used a glue gun for this and then put the backing, but I think I can do better next time. The next one is actually a sewing project. Sewing? Sewing. Um, I made a scrunchie. So last year I got this beautiful fabric in a local store. And show you this prettiness. It's a satin, I think. And I mean, look at all these, like all these little ghosts. I love it. I also got this one. It's Halloween -y fabric. It's also satin. It's kind of the cousin, the brother, the sister. I don't know. But it's so pretty. I still don't know what I want to do with this, but. I just thought I, I have wanted to make a scrunchie for the longest time. I'm learning how to sew and as you can see I, can even, I cannot even pronounce the word. <laughs> so yeah, I made this. It's an XXL scrunchie. It's really really big as you can see. The satin is probably not the best choice for this. It is really slippery in my hair, even when my hair is not straightened. I have curly hair, so even when it is curly, it just it falls off. But I love it. I'm not gonna unmake it. I love it. Of course, I am not a pro. This is the first time that I make a scrunchie, but if you would like a tutorial or something, let me know. I actually made the pattern, like I made it in paper first and I made it with a lot of sizes in mind like I have from a really really tight one to this one and I think a bigger one I do think this needs to be shorter probably a few inches of less fabric because it is a little bit way too puffy but the more puffy the better, right? So, the next one the next one is a punch needle coaster. This is inspired in the suit sprites from Spirited Away, I think it's called the movie in English. Um, this is the movie and these are the sprites. I just love it. I, I, I always want to make something about these little guys. These are so hardworking and I'm actually thinking of making it leg, making legs for them and the, the little stars. But hmm. So for now. This coaster. With this one, I was trying also to understand or to know how to do a backing. I failed horribly. <laughs> I used felting with a glue gun, and the glue gun kind of started going to the other side. So you live and learn. Mm. But I like it. Like it's it's really flat, so it actually works. And the last one is one that I've been showing in my Instagram for the last month. I tried to finish it by May the 4th, but I couldn't. And I actually had a lot of issues with it. I think I'm good making amigurumis, but I don't know what happened with this one. Like, clearly I cannot count. You know, sometimes we, we don't know how to count. This is the little guy. 
I think. I mean, it's okay. I, I really like it. Let me show it to you piece by piece. So, this is Grogu. Nice to meet you. It's really, really cute. I really like it. The thing with this one. Oh, I forgot. This is the pattern that I use. <laughs> So this Medami girl is so amazing at patterns and the pattern was so so clear. There were a couple of things that were not that clear, but but I mean we can figure it out. And I did. So the first thing is that it is amazing that she made the coat actually usable, like you can take it off. Look at this little hand. You can take it off. The thing is that my coat was way too big for him as you can see like you cannot even see the hand you can't i don't know how i don't know why the yarn i use on both on both this and the pod were the same size same brand i use the same hook i don't know what happened i count the stitches but at the end of the row if you ask me how many stitches do you have even if I have the pattern, I wouldn't be able to tell you. I don't know, I, I, I get confused. I get confused and maybe I'm doing an, an increase and somebody talks to me or a thought comes in my head and then I make the increase again because I forgot it. And I actually use an app because I cannot count on my memory. <laughs> Fun and intended. This is the app that I use. It's so cool. I'm going to take a, a screenshot of how I use it. It's free, but you can also pay for it and like, I don't know, it can be a dollar a month, I think. And it's so awesome. But anyways, so I'm rambling as always. This little guy, I love it. The coat is big. He's a small, he's a baby, so it fits. <laughs> so for the pot, the pot actually gave me a lot of issues. Like the instructions were clear. I was silly and let me show you how it's supposed to look. Beautiful. I only bought one type of grey, this light grey. And I don't think this brand has actually a dark grey. The brand is this one, Papaya Cotton Touch. I really like it. It's my first time making a Migurumi with this one and I really loved it. I made before Migurumis with acrylic. I I don't know, probably the brand, it was rough on my hands. So I started looking for another one and the first one I picked, perfect. So this brand either it doesn't have a dark gray in their catalog or I didn't found it in the stores where I live on. And as you can see, the bottom is on a dark gray and the ones on top are on a light gray and I had to make it work. Like this part is supposed to be actual gray, like the same gray of this one but I wanted to make it different to the light gray, so I made it white and then I saw the accessories to be on top and those were the same gray as this and I, I had to make it work. I'm gonna put a picture here of the whole thing. It's pretty and it definitely is not the pattern's fault. <laughs> the pattern was great and so cute. It was really well designed. I really loved it. If you don't know Medami, you must. And if you know me and you don't know Medami, I don't know how that works. She is amazing. She's really popular in the Amigurumi world. So, yeah, this is the little guy. Let me present it to Kroko. I finished him, funny enough, on May 5th. So, I wasn't able to finish it on May 4th, but still, May the 4th be with you. Or may the fifth be with you. So yeah, this is what I did this quarter. It's not this month because the YouTube channel is new. So of course, I'm not gonna say last month and show you only Grogu. But yeah, this quarter I made all these and I'm hoping to make more things. If you want to see all the things that I plan to make on May, hopefully, hopefully, you can see my latest video, which are my plans for the month of May. I hope to see you on the next one and keep on crafting!